In this game, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. So here's Dallas' starting group. Manning the backcourt, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Powell in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for the Celtics, Smart and White make up the backcourt. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. And it's Horford in at the five, down low. There is nothing like the atmosphere of opening night in the NBA. Grant, do players get just as pumped up as the fans for the first game of the season? I think they do. I mean, everybody, players, coaches, organization, fans, everybody gets excited for opening night. It's impossible not to. All the work these players put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. Got it. I think Derek. you can count on Derek White to take smart shots. Does so right there. Pass to Dinwiddie. Doncic against Smart. Now here's Doncic. Tight defense on him. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Boston ball. So it's Boston now. Here's Smart. In his last outing, eight points for him. Horford outside. Pass to White. Launches it. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Yeah, on the catch-and-shoot game, Derek White very assertive, ready to react. Doncic passes to Dinwiddie. Here's Bullock, defended by Brown. Kicks it to Doncic. This one for three. Count it. One for one to start the game. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Brown. He had 25 points in his last game. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First, and for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. White hits them both. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now here's Tatum. Gets the three to fall. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Jason Tatum has proven to be a knockdown three-point shooter. Huge asset for his team. Here's Bullock. Pass to Finney Smith. Dinwiddie outside. Launches a three. That one doesn't drop. Now Boston takes it the other way. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. And they were able to come away with wins in both games last season. Impressive, to say the least. And these two teams could easily end up meeting to decide the NBA championship. Tonight could be a preview of something with more on the line down the road. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. The Celtics making their last shot. And stolen by Brown. Fast break. Here come the Celtics for the finish and the jam by Brown. 
that's the two-way play of Jalen Brown. He leads defensively, creates a turnover, and then no one catches him in transition. Now here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Bullock. To win the run. Count it. One for one to start the game. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, Brown. Now smart. Let's it go from deep. No good there. For Dallas, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Bullock. Outside, Finney Smith. Here's Bullock. Three-pointer. Tatum pulls it in. Boy, a wide-open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. They get it back. Another shot. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Uh, hard work pays off for Luka in that instance. How about that on the defensive end? Send it back, Luka. Here's Finney Smith. Here's Powell. The rebound, Celtics. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Outside, Brown. Here's Horford. Austin again missing. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Bullock. Outside, Finney Smith. Doncic on the wing. The three is up. Tatum pulls it in. Boston has gone two for three from outside the arc. Oh, Tatum slams it home. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Now here's Doncic. His last outing, we saw him score 22. From deep. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. And the Mavericks call time here. What has to excite you about Jason Tatum is how consistently he puts work in to perfecting his craft. His idol is Kobe Bryant. He is a guy that wants to continue and will work to get better. And so it's Dallas with it. Down by 12. Left side, Finney Smith. Down low. Here's Bullock, and the layup falls. Reggie Bullock. Bullock's got five points. The Doris Tatum has already accomplished so much early on in his career. Yeah, but you get the sense this guy is nowhere near finished. Jason Tatum is a guy who wants to be seen as an all-time great when his career is said and done. He is someone you can count on to give you everything he's got. Doncic against Smart. Hook loose. Doncic outside. Just five on the clock. And here's Tatum. He's got seven. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. A level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive Wait. approach for Boston. But we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Shooting two. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor. A lot of the damage coming in transition. And the first one at the line is good. When you analyze the skill set of a guy like Derek White, here's a combo guard who can fill so many gaps and do so many things well. What I love most is how hard he plays on both ends of the floor. Christian Wood is checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Bullock. White hits them both. 
And the versatility White provides for this team is so important to us. It is, B.A. He fills gaps. He can score it, board it, pass it, and he can defend with purpose. A guard that can help orchestrate the offense or, if need be, get off the ball. These multi-positional guards are critical to success. Now here's Doncic. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And now it's time to take another view of that huge spot. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Now Doncic. Shot clock at six. Dinwiddie outside. That one falls. Great Spencer, set up by Doncic. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game, and boy, it is on display right now. Now here's Tatum. Last game, he had 28 points. Pass to Horford. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Horford's got his second basket on the night. Dinwiddie outside. Now here's Finney Smith. Hardaway finds Dinwiddie. Another three for Spencer Dallas. Dinwiddie. Well, you want Four some three. unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now here's White. He's got nine. The teardrop. Some solid D from Wood. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And stolen by Brown. Flex the pass. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And that's Spencer, what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Hardaway against Brown. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Dallas has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. White against Dinwiddie. Back to White. To the middle. Here's Horford. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Dinwiddie left side. 11 feet out. That one's wide left. Tatum passes to Smart. Back to Tatum. Shot clock at five. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. And the Mavericks call time here. And guys, talk hey, about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Von Lays checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Jalen Brown. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Dinwiddie. Now here's Doncic. Such a wide-open look. Doncic. Doncic has got six. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, Malcolm KD. Brogdon. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Here's Green. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Doncic passes to Green. And here's Hardaway. Let's the three fly. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Two here's Tatum. Two oh, great D that time from Kleba. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 16 so far. Here's Wood. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Wood. Pounding it inside early and often, Maxine setting a Kleba. physical tone. Pass to Brogdon. On the wing, Tatum. Williams up top. High arcing shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. 
very oh, little dude. resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Outside Hardaway. Doncic passes to Kleba. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Wow, that's five. Count them. Five turnovers. And we're only in the first quarter. Boston has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Brogdon, the pass to Williams. Here's Pritchard. Three-pointer. And again, Boston with the triple. An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Outside, Green. Doncic passes to Kleba. Green with the ball. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Three points. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Pritchard. Williams on the wing. From outside the arc. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And the Mavericks, Luka. another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside Tatum. Here's the three. That shot missing. And so it's the Boston Celtics. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've been lights out from deep. And it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. We'll be right back with you shortly. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. Dallas has gotten 7 of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Smart and White make up the backcourt. Noah Vonley out there with Grant Williams. And it's Brown in at the three. That's the Boston Five. Boston has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Dinwiddie against Smart. Brown passes to White. Six to shoot. Here's Smart. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second. When you watch him play, you can feel the effect that Marcus Smart has on a basketball game. Defensively, this guy is as good as any guard in the league, and he has multiple all-defensive selections to show for it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. The Defensive Player of the Year in 2022, Doris Marcus Smart. His defense sets the tone for this team. It does, B.A., there's no doubt about it. They feed off both his energy and his attitude. There are so many little things that Marcus Smart does that can get into the head of opposing ball handlers. He pressures the basketball. He'll get strip steals. He can also pinch down in the post and give some assistance to a big man. The effect on winning is real. You know, one expression you hear from a lot of coaches nowadays, threatening drives. What's the value of breaking the paint? B.A., dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapse, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble Celtics. different ways. Noah They're pretty Hanley. adaptable. At the line for two shots. Shoot two. The 
First free throw is good. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. So he gets them both. Now here's Dinwiddie. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Pass to Bullock, and here's Finney Smith. Williams defending. Brown with the steal. Now smart. Outside, Brown. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Up top, Dinwiddie. Defended by Smart. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Jalen Brown picks one up. Well, you think about the start of Spencer Dinwiddie's career. It was rocky. This guy falls to the second round. He gets waved a couple of times. It wasn't until he found his way to the Nets that he started to find his footing. Free throw good. Dinwiddie. Talking about Dinwiddie. He steadily improved with Brooklyn, Doris. He sure did, B.A., averaging 20 points per game during that 1920 season. Then he was rewarded with a huge free agent deal during the summer of 2021. Perseverance is a big-time part of his story. No good on the second free throw. Boston has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Smart for three. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. It's stolen by Smart. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Pass to Williams. Good D by Finney Smith. Dallas has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Here's Bullock, defended by Brown. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Dinwiddie with it. For three, six on the shot clock. He missed it. Now three for seven. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. And it's blocked by Wood. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. White for three. Here's Von Ley. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Wood. Clock at six. Pass to Bullock. Got a piece of it. Brown with the steal. Now White, defended by Hardaway. Takes one from 10 feet. Here's Von Ley. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Von Ley's got six in the quarter. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. And the Mavericks call time here. Boy, guys, with that appearance in the Western Conference Finals, it certainly feels like the Dallas Mavericks took a huge step forward. They played to their strengths. Obviously, the axis is Luka Doncic and his incredible skill set. Pass to Bullock. Now here's Wood. The shot to stop the run. And it's good on the lay-in. Wood's got his second basket. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Right. It almost seems like last year we were seeing the team Dallas had been waiting for, Doris. It seems, B.A., they finally figured out what pieces need to be fit around Luka Doncic. Obviously, you need high-caliber shooting across positions. The one thing I think they need to continue thinking about is that rim protector and vertical threat. Now here's Wood. Pass to Hardaway. Smart grabs a miss. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. 
Here's Von Ley. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Christian Wood picks one up. Boy, when you think about the Boston Celtics and their fans, I think one thing that makes them unique, it isn't just the state of Massachusetts, right? It's the entire region of New England. Two shots. He makes a first. Yeah, Doris, if you're anywhere in the northeast portion of the U.S., you're going to see a lot of Boston jerseys. Well, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, they all adopt the Celtics as their hometown team. But here's what's even more impressive, B.A. Go to any NBA city, any of the other 29 cities, and you are going to see Celtic green jerseys. That is a fan base that travels well. Both good from the line that time. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with Jim any team. Hardaway, shot is good. What a beautiful Reggie blend of Wallace. size and athleticism. Boy, Tim Boston, Hardaway Jr. Final. is doing work inside. Timeout called the Celtics. Boy, talk to any former teammate and coach, past or present. Anybody who's played or worked with Reggie Bullock has nothing but positive things to say. The Celtics making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. And with Bullock, he's a player that genuinely puts his team first to us. One of those guys, B.A., that does not care if he's starting, if you put him off the bench. Bullock is going to play with energy defensively. He's going to knock down three-point shots. And he's going to space the floor for the star player. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. The Mavericks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to Bullock. Back to Dinwiddie. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Smart. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Now that's about amazing quickness. How about Marcus Smart's ability to beat everybody up the floor with that burst? Pass to Wood. Here's Hardaway. Now here's Finney Smith. Defended by Griffin. The fader. Finney Smith's shot is off. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Now White. Back to Griffin. Smart outside. Three-pointer, no good. Dallas has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Pass to Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. Smart against Wood. Left side, Brown. The kick out to Griffin. Back to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Well, Jalen Brown has quality handles now. Relentless on the attack when he's got the rock in his hands. Smart against Dinwiddie. Looking to end the drought. And the three-pointer goes. He's the last Four, guy you three. want to leave alone on the perimeter. Boston's gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. And Boston calls time here. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Horford, he's checked in for Von Ley. Outside White. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's four for eight. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Pass to Bullock. 
Hardaway with it. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And the opposition is feasting on their turnovers. Until they clean that up, they're going to continue to get burned. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Boston's gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Here's White. The shot off that time. And it's Dallas the other way. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. It's Brown on the wing, guarded by Doncic. Outside Tatum. Over Powell. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Tatum's got 11 points. We know this is an offensive-minded player. Jason Tatum loves running pick-and-roll action. Back to Doncic. Pass to Nilakina. And here is Green. Dallas no good that time either. Tatum passes to White. To the inside. Horford drops in the layup for two. Six points for him. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Oh, they get a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Some changes for Boston. Hauser, he's checked in for Brown. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Peyton Pritchard. Doncic outside. Here's Nelikina. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Five to shoot. Shoots from 12. The three is up. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. Dallas ball. Doncic on the wing. Nine points in the game. Well, how about the defensive effort from Al Horford? Just playing so hard, making sure the shooter can't get a clean look. First, Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Falls for Powell. Well, this is a decent free throw shooter, and where Powell could help himself is getting to the line a little bit more. Outside Tatum. Pass to Hauser. The three. It's rebounded by Dallas. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Now here's Brogdon. Green with the defensive effort. Here's Nelikina. Green with the ball. Kleba outside. The three ball. Hauser grabs the board. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Tatum. Over Green. Boston again missing. Dallas has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Here's Powell. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Powell's got five points now in the quarter. I tell you, even with some physical contact, Powell gets it done. Love his persistence. Back to Brogdon. Here's Pritchard. Stolen by Green. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Pass to Doncic. 
There's the triple. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Celtics. Boston ball. One twenty-five left to play in the half. Outside Brogdon. Back to Pritchard. The drive by Brogdon. The kick to Tatum. Five on the clock. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Richard's got five now. I'm not sure what he was thinking exactly, but he finds a way to convert. Kleba down low, hounded by Tatum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Maxi Kleba taking two shots. First free throw is good. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Both shots good from the strike. And we know that last year the Mavs had an issue with rim protection doors. They did, and obviously that is the starting point, B.A., for a lot of defenses, so you understand you have to address that. What you know, though, unequivocally, is you have excellent wing defenders on the roster. It's one of the most critical aspects of success in today's NBA. So really, it's about solidifying the paint, and let's see where this team goes from there. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. When you think about Al Horford at his best, he is one of the league's most versatile big men. This guy is a very strong passer. He can defend across positions, including switching out on the perimeter, and he can knock down open threes. And he sinks the second. Well, Al Horford, one of the most respected veterans in this league. Why? Well, he's unselfish, and it's always about team first. Now here's Doncic. He's got nine. Nilakina misses. Outside Brogdon. Back to Tatum. Pass to Horford. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's Doncic from behind the arc. He drops it from range. Doncic. Doncic has got 12 points in the game. Well, we're talking about one of the league's best scorers, and the confidence Luka Doncic has in himself to take over is readily on display. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and we couldn't punish them for their mistake. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Celtics opening up a huge gap. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, Al, as you anchor that front court. What were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, a lot of energy in this arena tonight. The, the hometown fans getting after it. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille O'Neal's here. So is Kenny the Jet Smith. Out in front at the half is Boston. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, how'd you see it? 
They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. This organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. How about Derek White really making a difference here? He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. I have to love his tenacity. This guy stays in attack mode, makes defenders work, tries to keep them off balance. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half. Manning the backcourt, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Powell in at the center position. Now here's Powell. From 12 feet. The shot won't fall. Now Boston takes it the other way. Smart for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his third assist of the night. Well, though he's not known as a prolific three-point shooter, Marcus Smart takes his time, delivers. That's a big-time shot. Fenny Smith with it, hounded by Tatum. Doncic outside. Cut X from downtown. Doncic has got 15. Doncic loves the ability to respond with a three. That is tough. There's Tatum with the three. Sends it home from three-point land. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Doncic. He's got 15. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Doncic outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Dinwiddie. Shoots over White. Dinwiddie, no good. Boston has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Outside, Brown. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Bullock, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting for Dallas, Reggie Bullock, two shots. Shoot two. The first one falls. And he makes both free throws. The Celtics have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Smart. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And here's Tatum. Pulls it. And 
it's Boston scoring again. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Doncic. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now here's White. 14 points for him. To the paint. Powell with a steal. And now the Mavs on the run. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. One misses. And the second free throw is good. The Celtics have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Outside, Brown. Outside, White. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. Derek White at the line for two shots. And he drops the first. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. Good on both. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Pass to Bullock. Four three. Pure from three point range. Bullock's, Bullock's got ten points. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Finney Smith pulls it in. Penny Smith's got a rebound number five here tonight. It is always fun for me to watch an undrafted player like Dorian Finney Smith make a name for himself in the NBA. Now here's Doncic. He's got 15. Oh, there's the alley. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Powell passes to Dinwiddie. Here's Bullock. Pass to Powell. Dinwiddie against White. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on White. And even though Finney Smith went undrafted, he still made the opening day roster for the Mavs in 2016. B.A., it shows you how quickly he made an impression on that team. This guy's a hard worker. He makes excellent decisions at full speed. This is a guy who can guard multiple positions. He's improved his three-point shooting. Love his story. Free throw good. Dinwiddie. also good so he hits both free throws 
Boston's gone two for two from deep here in the third. Left side, Tatum. White on the wing. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. Well, look at this. I mean, points off turnovers. So aggressive, forcing the other team to make mistakes, and it's really paid off. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. First one falls for him. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, B.I., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. <laughs> I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. And, man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Mavericks have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Bullock. Back to Dinwiddie. Let's go with a three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's Doncic. He's got 15. Dinwiddie outside. Left side, Finney Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Finney Smith's got his second bucket on the night. White against Dinwiddie. Pulls up. Brown can't hit. Dallas has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Here's Bullock. No good with the triple. The Celtics have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. White against Doncic. From 11 feet away, White. Good. White's got six here in the quarter. A sneaky good score. I don't know that you define Derek White as a scorer. He's sort of jack of all trades, but boy, he's cooking right now. Now here's Doncic. And he's going for the lob. And Powell with the stuff. And how about the ups of Dwight Powell? He's making these lobs look easy. The Celtics have gone four of eight in the third. Inside. Here's Horford. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Doncic. Who poked away. And that's out of bounds. Out of Dallas bounds. will retain possession. Dallas ball. Five to shoot. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Doncic. Doncic has got 17. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Pass to Horford. An easy two on the layup. And the Celtics lead by 19. Boy, that little bit of contact will not be enough to impede Al Horford, just powering his way through. Doncic outside. Here's Bullock. He's got 10. Finney Smith. They get it again. And that Celtic one goes foul. in as he's fouled. Brown. It'll be three points Second if he converts the free throw. Foul. We have At learned in a very brief period of time that there is absolutely Doncic. nothing on a basketball one court shot. that Luka Doncic can't do. He is no doubt amongst the very big-time superstars in this league. One shot. The 
And how about Luka Doncic? I mean, how remarkable, Doris. B.A., his numbers are insane when you consider how young he is. In his career, averaging more than 25 points, over eight boards, and over seven assists. Not many players contribute in every aspect of the game. Like Luka. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Bullock. Here's Doncic. Tatum with some nice D. The Celtics have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Smart passes to Tatum. Outside, Brown. Horford outside. Fires the three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his third assist of the night. Dallas has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Back to Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. I'll tell you this, Luka Doncic will never turn down an opportunity to finish at the rim. He's elite and loves those opportunities. Smart outside. Tipped away. Right side Brown. Let's it go. Again, the Celtics good for two more. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Von Lays checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. Brogdon's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Now here's Finney Smith. He's got six. That's what we call a high effort play by Dorian Finney Smith. Takes it right to the defense and gets the whistle. He's in the penalty. Shooting for Dallas. Dorian Finney Smith. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Guys, I think what you have to love about Dorian Finney-Smith is his versatility. Skill set-wise, you can play him at either forward position, and in either spot, he's going to give you tremendous defensive effort. So he's able to get one of two. The Celtics have gone eight of 13 in the second half. And there's Brogdon with the basket on the assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. The Mavericks have gone seven of 13 in the second half. Pass to Green. Back to Doncic. Left side, Green. Shot clock at six. Here's Hardaway. Jump shot is good. Hardaway Jr. Hardaway's gotten his second bucket of the game. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situations. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. And stolen by Green. Outside Hardaway. Doncic passes to Hardaway. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Greg. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. 
You see, to me, guys, for Tim Hardaway Jr., there's still another level for him to reach. He has proven that he can be a big-time scorer. To me now, it's about consistency and doing it night after night after night. Brown, he's checked in for White. He hits the second from the line. Boston has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Here's Pritchard. He's got five. And they recover it. Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Celtics. Grant Williams at the line for two shots. The first one falls. Kleba, he's checked in for Finney Smith. And Williams drops them both. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Outside, Green. Pass to Hardaway. The three. The rebound, Celtics. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Brown for three. They get it back. And that one's good. Oh, nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. For three, Hardaway drops in the three. Hardaway Jr. Hardaway's got eight points. I just love how confident Tim Hardaway Jr. is from long distance. This guy will cash in from there. Back to Pritchard. And they call an illegal screen here. You know, looking at the turnover story, they had a few miscues along the way, but as we see on the scoreboard, it hasn't hurt them. Dallas has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Doncic on the wing. He's got 22. Outside Hardaway. Rebounded by the Celtics. 46 seconds left to play in the third. It's Brown on the wing. It's Williams, high post. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. Dallas shooting about 53% on the third, a very good number. Wood passes to Doncic, now Green. Up top, Kleba. Wide open. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Assist from Josh Green. Boston has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Outside, Brown. Beyond the arc. It doesn't go for him. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Celtics. They lead by 18. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Tatum and Williams are your small and power forwards. Derek White out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Griffin in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Boston Five. Here's Pritchard. Here's Tatum. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And the Celtics lead by 20. 
Well, the confidence of Jason Tatum is evident always. As soon as the ball touches his hands, he is shot ready and lets it go. Up top, Kleba. Williams defending. Fade away. Second shot opportunity. The shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? VA, so oh, yeah, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. Now here's Dinwiddie. Kleba outside. Williams grabs the board. The Celtics have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. From downtown. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Wood outside. Denwitty with it. Here's Nelikina. Just four to shoot. Shoots over Griffin. Nelikina misses. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. It's tipped. Pritchard. Griffin right side. Outside Tatum, jacks up a three, knocks down the long J. Tatum's got 21 points in the game. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half, and he also hit one in the first half, too. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Yep, that one goes. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Pass to Bullock. Here's Nelikina. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Not going to go that time. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. To the inside. Here's Wood. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Blake Griffin picks one up. Yeah, and Christian Wood moving here to the Mavs over the summer. Now, the Mavs knew they wanted more size, so they sent a number of players in exchange, but they got a deadly weapon to help them this season. First one at the line is good. Wood hits them both. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. On the wing, Tatum. Pass to Williams. Outside White. Five to shoot. Hits the three-pointer. White's got nine points here in the second half. He's not always 
always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rise and fire from three point, and it is on target. Kleba with it. Williams defending. Kleba against Williams. Pass to Nilakina. Fires from deep. Drains the triple. Well, this guy maturing right before our eyes. Frank Nilakina drills the catch and shoot. Pretty. And the Celtics call time here. Switch here. Smart's checked in. Doncic is checked in for the Mavericks. Pass to Williams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Grant Williams at the line for two. And he drops the first. falls so he hits both of them and for players greatness can be defined so many ways but giving back has to be a component of that wouldn't you say Grant well to whom much is given much is expected in BA I agree 100% players today understand the impact that they can have on others I love that about the league the players the coaches everyone involved using this gift to make a change and a positive impact yeah. throughout the world that's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. Doncic against Smart. Doncic passes to Kleba. That one is off, and it's Boston the other way. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Smart. Now here's Griffin. Four on the clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. White for three. It's rebounded by Kleba. Dallas has gone two of two from outside so far on the fourth. Smart against Wood. To the right side. Here's Denwitty. And he banks in the layup. Spencer Dinwiddie's got five points now in the quarter. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Smart outside. Over Doncic. And it's Smart missing. The Mavericks have gone four for ten in the fourth. Down low. And Wood with the stuff. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Pass to Tatum. It's smart on the wing. The ball's knocked loose. Doncic with it. Picked up by Griffin. And now the Mavs on the run. The fadeaway. Boston with a rebound. Here's Tatum. Chalk up two there. Tatum's got 25 points to be willing to shoulder the offensive burden. I think Jason Tatum is built for it. Here's Kleba. Uses the glass Reggie to finish the layup. <laughs> they are passing the ball around Reggie tremendously Kula. right now. Outside White. Pass to Smart. Now Tatum. Out to the wing is Griffin. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. 
Woods got five rebounds tonight. Doncic finds Dinwiddie. Here's Bullock. Takes the three. And the basket's good. Ready. Off the assist Go from Dinwiddie. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's White. Here he goes. And it's blocked by Wood. And they'll keep possession. Tatum passes to Smart. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pitch. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Brogdon comes in for White. Finney Smith's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Bullock. Now here's Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. That one drops for him. Jim. I'll tell you, a tough Jr. first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Pass to Smart. To the left wing. To the paint. Here's Williams. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Williams has got four points this quarter. Malcolm Brogdon has been rock solid since he won the Rookie of the Year award. This guy's capable as a scorer, and what a pretty pass there. Now Hardaway. Here's Denwitty. Rebounded by Brogdon. For Boston, they've gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. There's the foul. It'll go on Tim Hardaway. That's his first foul. Horford, he's checked in for Williams. Now into the lineup for the Celtics, Al Horford. Tatum finds Smart. Back to Tatum. Smart outside. Pass to Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. Jason That's his Tatum. third foul so far. Third personal foul. First team foul. And here's Doncic. To the middle. Here's Penny Smith. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Luka, yeah, Dorian Finney-Smith has the ability athletically to finish Boston, near the final. cup, and he does so there. And the Celtics and call time the here. Now, when you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic, he has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. And he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Brogdon. Four on the clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. No question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. And he knocks down the first one. What you love about former Rookie of the Year Malcolm Brogdon is this guy gives you great effort on both ends. Can play the one and the two offensively, smart defensively, and the versatility is key. And so Brogdon nails both of them. I think when people think of Malcolm Brogdon, the first word that comes to mind is consistency. This guy takes quality shots. He's already produced a 50-40-90 season back in 2019. 
Now here's Doncic. Hardaway finds Dinwiddie. Two minutes remaining in the game. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Well, that 50-40-90 season put Brogdon in pretty exclusive company, Doris. It sure did, B.A. Only the eighth player in the history of the league to accomplish that feat. Think about it. It takes tremendous skill to carry those percentages, the discipline to take good shots, the work required to become a consistent shooter. Brogdon brings it every game. Dallas has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Outside Hardaway. He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Celtics. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Jason Tatum. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now here's Tatum. Just five on the clock. Over Finney Smith. And Horford powers it home. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Here's Dinwiddie. Doncic outside. Wood outside. The offensive rebound. Back to Doncic. Pass to Hardaway. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And now we have Ali LaForce standing with the player of the game. Ali, take it away. Thank you. I'm here with Jason Tatum. And Jason, congratulations on the win. What did you like about this team's performance tonight? Uh, our toughness. Um, and, you know, we're figuring it out. It's early. But uh, we're taking it game by game, quarter by quarter. And uh, everybody, everybody contributing. So, uh, you know, I like it. Thanks, Jason.